let's go. Bronze medal on the line here as Vorvort, quick move on the baseline, finishes with the reverse. Virare, he attacks the rack. He's gonna get the ball back. Sagela, he's down. The shot goes down, that's a two-piece and a foul off the ball. Villare. He will also shoot the free throw. So Alex Villare. Big body guard at the line. He's gonna give France a two-point lead. Again, the odds stacked against him. Vervoort, he misses it. And as does Devalk. Cavalier with Franck Segela going to work. He chunks the deuces. Off the iron it flies, the big fella. Cavalier, he'll turn around, the jump hook though is broke. Dupuit. And that's a blue foul, first on fronts. Dupout, excuse me. The vault to Sellis. Clerk Kent hands it over. Redvort. Doesn't even get a chance to give it to him because there's a foul down on the block. Sellers taking his time. Back door, he was trying to find the vault. The vault flying in there, he's unable to track it down, so. 3-1 game, France. Playing with a lot of heart. Segala on target like infrared. But he's slow to defend Celis. Virarek. He steps back and he's shooting his shot like he's trying to get a date. Seven two. Debout. Gets that one to roll down. Segela, he will take his time. Cavalier, Fierare. Misses his next two attempts. Cavalier, he rocks the rim. The ball was on the ground. Ato giving his team direction from the bench. Unable to play again with that ankle injury. So around comes Must See TV. This is pressure defense from Le Bleu. As they lead early here, eight to three. Obviously, Belgium, the four seed, and what you would consider the favorite in their own backyard here in the Lions' den. Oh, Tabo prefers his defenders, shaken, not stirred. It's 8 4. He gave him the shoulder shimmy and got out of there. You can add that one to the mixtape, but Franz still lead this thing 8 4. Villare misses the lay. Sellers back to DePau. DePau, he throws it in reverse. Didn't even use his rear view. Cavalier up and he's fouled. Seven twenty-four left in this game. France playing with plenty of heart. Yeah. 
9-5. Nick Sellers with the stop and go. The fans here in the Lions Den may be a little bit antsy now. A little hot under the collar. That free throw from Sellis trickles in. So the fans trying to give Belgium a boost here. All right, Vierade, he makes his move. It's blocked underneath. 9-6. Sellis drops it. It's wet from mid-range. All of a sudden, the Lions are waking up now. And a TV timeout. As both teams will reset here. A 9-7 game, three fouls apiece. Let's listen in on the Lions huddle. Like two twos or two three twos. How long we've been playing with? We're playing play with three guys. Okay, we're playing with three guys. Hey, DJ Lass. The game is seven more DJ dysfunctional up top doing their thing. I'm not sure you can add any more energy to what we're already seeing here underneath this Magic Sky canopy. It is going down in a major way. Packed house with a bronze medal at stake. France has come out of the gates quickest. And a foul on the two attempt. Look again, there is contact and Villarre will go back up to the line. No real needed. Villarre will try to make it two for two. And he puts it through. Franz had a chance to, to win in overtime last game. And not to remind you, but Cavalier missed the second of two free throws and opened the door for Lithuania. The ball, I like your cut, G. Lobby must have did it. Actually, it was Bavort, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Say Gala, he lets it go. It comes up Kevin Hart, short, and that is a should be a. They're they're asking for a shot clock violation. But no, I got caught up. Looking at Ato myself, he had me convinced. I... Depout, he's waiting for Musty TV to come around. Depout, he's on the move, takes the contact, take that back. Segala with the athletic block. And official Marco says it's travel. Take another look at that block from Segala. He extended his arms a few extra feet and spanked the Wilson. 11-8 lead. France against the Lions. Must see TV. He's not knocking them down. It's must see TV is having some reception issues. Each team has made it more difficult on him. Again, understanding just how dangerous of an offensive player he is. Credit France right now. This is a French team playing with three players right now. In, an, in a hostile environment and still managing to hold them off for the moment. We'll, if they win this, this will be a signature win for France that they won't forget for a long time. Meantime, the vault patiently waits for Villarreal to fly by. He's going to get Belgium within two as Villarreal will elevate. He misses. 
and the tip is a no-go for Cavalier. For Vort, over to Duvall, up fake. Duvall will pull up, free throw line. Probably should have continued with the drive. I think that was an opportunity for Duvall to really attack the rim. Of course, the open shot for the free throw line, not a, not a bad choice, but Maybe you draw a foul there. Who knows? What do I know? I'm just a commentator. These are the pros. I'll leave it to them. It's V8.8. We'll set up on the block. He'll get it in the corner. Say, Gala. It ain't that windy yet. 11-9. That's stolen. And Cavalier has it poked away. But not without a foul. Being whistled on the Lions. Five fouls on Belgium. They trail it by two. We're past the midway mark. 4.50 left in this third place game for bronze. Kyle Montgomery, AKA the voice in your ear. Keep your eyes locked on this one. It's gonna be fun down the stretch as Segela misses, but the board flies in, snatches the rebound. DePout gets it over to the vault for the board. Find his shot, instead he finds the vault. But he sold the bag. Fierare. Cavalier on the move. They don't get it up in time. DePout waiting for the screen. DePout down low. Clerk can't. No, sir. The hustle from DeVault. I think that's going to go out off of DeVault. It's going to be blue ball. Cavalier, he misses the tip twice as DePout will come away with it. Vervoort over to Maxi. DePout. Oh, off the miss. Vervoort's runner. Uh uh. Villarale. He's on a drive, straight to the rim. And the French Federation is on their feet. 12-9. With a chance to add to that on the line. We got to listen in on that French huddle. So this the message from Anton Eto in that huddle as he's leading his team from the bench. He says, don't speak, save your energy, slow down, play the two-man game. So you have to be a player coach in 3x3. He is the definition of that now. Unable to play with that ankle injury. Look what his team has done to this point. They lead it by three and probably. And that ball off of France. Belgium. We'll start with it, top of the key. Lavort makes his move. He's trying to get free. Villarre sticking with him. But Lavort fades away but misses. DePout, he will swing left. They leave some space for the vault, and Villarre is called for the foul. Yeah. 
Oh, DePaul thought about it. Instead, he's going to drive, lean back, lean back. He went Fat Joe on him. Belgium within two now. Cavalier, good at the strike. His first time playing at a 3x3 World Cup. And this time he handles the pressure at the line. Franz back out by four. Under three to go. Duvall, good patience. As for Abort, is the one who set the table for the dish. Segala behind the back move. Wild shot goes to the Lions. They know they got to get to it and get to it quick. Oh, there's going to be a lot of disappointed fans in here. Sellers takes a bump, and he'll get a chance to shoot one. Foul number five on Franz. Clerk Kent. He will take his time. And he knocks it down. So the Lions really being put to the test by a three-man French team. Fierare. He will pull up short range off the iron. Fierare, he's got Segala underneath. What a find. Franz playing some beautiful 3x3 hoop. Inspired game by Franz. Go to board, up fake. He will get it back. He is hacked. Man, it is turned up. And the Lions' den is starting to wake up. They've been a bit confused so far. I think they expected Belgium to run away with this one. But Franz had something to say about it. Celis to Vervoort. He passed up the first shot, takes a more difficult one. And that stroke is broke. Cavalier, Villarale, he lost the ball. Misses the two. The ball, he's going to reset. Clerk Kent drives, spins. He's looking for must-see TV. Vervoort gets it back to Sellis. We got ourselves a one-point game. Segela with Vierade over there. The ball with the thievery. Now Celis is going to make good with the goods. Vierade, he was driving crazy like Ricky Bobby. He gets called for the charge. And that has charged up this crowd. They are ignited here in the Lions' den on their feet as we have a 15-15 game. France again, no sub. Can they hold off the Lions in their own backyard? And Tornado, he's trying to inspire his team. This is inspiring because of his injury. They got to dig deep. They've got to find something in the tank. 
to go the distance here. 41 seconds remaining. Must see TV has been struggling with a shot in this game. DePout, he gets whistled for the offensive foul. And the crowd is expressing their displeasure. Yasmina will take a look and see if that call will stand. Oh, you can see the bout does extend that off arm. And you wonder why, because it was past the defender. Didn't have to. Sometimes that natural movement as you're moving quickly. But yeah, that that's the that's the right call. I know that I know that this crowd doesn't like it, but that's the right call. You cannot swing your arm. Now he wasted a layup, so here we go now. 32 ticks. Fiorade missed it. Sellers can't come away with it. The vault trying to tie it up. He does. So you the the, the utility guy gets in there and makes a huge play. The vault. A jump ball is as good as a steal. Twenty-three seconds. Fifteen, fifteen. France, Belgium. Here in Antwerp for a bronze medal. If you don't like this, you don't like three x three. Clerk Kent with the dribble move. Must see TV. Whoa. Rattles off. 10 seconds. Segala to the cup. He punches it down. France with a hold on. But Vort, he goes in. He finishes the layup. We're going to overtime. Here's a look at the Gala's dunk that put France up but with less than four seconds to get to the rim. Must see TV takes over the show. And we got another episode. First team to score two in overtime wins a bronze medal. France start with it. A two ball would end it. Cavalier trying to use that size. He lost it out of bounds. Ball back over to Belgium. Sellers to Vervoort. Vervoort makes his move. He'll get it over to Sellers. Sellers defended by Vierare. It's the bout. Around comes the Gala. Cavalier is free. He misses the layup. They let him play. DePout thought about it. Vervoort. From way out. He does not have enough to get that one to the rim. Come 
So France in another OT. Segala missing. Cavalier will give France the lead. So Le Bleu, all they need is one. Vervoort to Devault. Kicks it out. Dip out. Rebound goes to France. One score will do it. Virade, filthy crossover. Fist missed it at the rim. Dip out. He'll get it to Vervoort. Vervoort. Well short. Virade to Segala. The double block from Celis. Celis flying in there like Superman. Both arms out. Blocks the shot. Out of bounds. Uh, initially ruled off of France. They want a challenge. Take another look. There's Sellers flying in with his cape in the wind. And it was a heroic block that saved Belgium's chances for now in this game. Official Marcos will take a closer look. The decision has been made. That challenge is lost. So it will indeed be Belgium ball. These players are exhausted. All it takes is one shot. Must see TV does not get the package. Celis drive. He's looking for Vervoort. Vervoort. Whoa. Short. He flies in off of the Lions. France with the possession. Fierade. He'll attack for Bort. He took from the spin class. He missed it. Cavalier. He chucks it from the corner. Wild shot. The ball will track it down. It throws it off of Celis. Duvall, great effort to hustle this loose ball down. And he was trying to quickly get it to Nick Celis. Celis was not ready. It goes off of his shin. How long can Belgium survive? The French charge. You better believe France is coming again. They lead it by one. All they need is one. Down low, Cavalier is down as well. Nick Sellis does the same thing. So two mistakes by the Belgians in a game where they are just hanging on. They throw it away again. Can they last another possession? We'll find out. Cavalier driving. Wild attempt. And Belgium want to challenge that. And I think that's a smart challenge. Cavalier, that he looked like he threw that out of bounds. And again, if you're just joining us in this game, You've missed a lot. 
But Anton Ato unable to play on this French team. He's been trying to inspire them in the huddle and from the bench. France has been playing three on four. No substitute in this game. Belgium has to fight all the way back to send it to overtime. Here in OT, as you can see, France has taken a one-point advantage. And the Belgians have dodged bullet after bullet after bullet. And they've made a few mistakes here. And you wonder just how much longer they can stay alive with France playing with, with their heart. So much cool. They will look at it, take a long look at it, and decide if this challenge will be won or not. This is huge for Belgium, depending on the decision, which is coming right now. That challenge is won. So they wanted the ball. They got it. It's off of Cavalier. Vervoer will have it. Belgium need two to win. De Pau driving. He's defending, but the layup drops. All even. 17-17. Oh, and Virale was able to track it down. Virale with Celis on the ground. Segela getting around the baseline. His hook is waved away. He, I think that's a three-second call. I could be wrong here. I think that's a three. Shot clock violation, not a three second. Oh yeah, that that is, man, this is why we got the best officials around. That is a shot clock violation. And this crowd is going wild. The Lions Den waiting for Vervoort to do something. He gets it to Sellis. Nick, travel is called. Turnover on the baseline as he drug the pivot foot. Ball back over to Le Bleu as Vierade will move right. The Valk is down. Vierade, he'll attack Vodevort, puts it up, it's missed. Loose ball goes to Cavalier. He runs and throws up another one. Sellis will come away with the Wilson. What effort from both of these teams. Vervoort. In and out. Oh, nobody's home. I don't know who's going to win this game, but this is the longest game ever. My voice is asking for mercy. All right, Vierade. Back cuts to Gala. Put on the brakes and France! What an inspirational win for Le Bleu! They steal it in the Lions' den! Belgium devastated. They will come up medalists here in their own tournament in Antwerp. Look at the effort and look at the emotion. What a win for France! Anton Ato did not play. They won this and tears are flowing. Credit to France. What a gutty win in OT. New coach Kareem Sochu embracing his players. Cavalier. Wow. 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 I don't care what side you stand on. You got to stand up for this game. France do it against the odds in enemy territory. Man. Take a, one last look at the feed to Frank Segela as we get it over to Julian Dubov who's with Cavalier right now after that huge win.
Leo, after, after Antoine went down with the injury in the semi-finals, a lot of people thought that you would not be able to compete in this bronze medal game. Where did you find the strength, the energy to, to win this game in an unbelievable overtime? <laughs> Last post-game interview, I told you about our heart. Today the win was in our heart. We were only three. That's an incredible effort from our three. And the fourth one, who was injured, was pushing us every second. And that's all about heart. For your first event, you win a bronze medal at the World Cup. What's the feeling now? I'm going to be honest with you. There's still a bit of disappointment because of the semi-final. You know? I, want, I want more. And the three other guys, they want more also. So we're going to come back. Maybe it's not going to be us four. Maybe it's going to be some, somebody better. We don't care. We want friends on the top, on the top of the world. That's going to be next, next World Cup. The one after, I don't care. But we're still hungry. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you.